You know, I, I see 2020 as a year of hope for the entire G1 community and for Accident. For the G1 community, this year marks uh, an important milestone where not just one gene therapy enters the clinic, but potentially up to three. Uh, and that is a sign of huge hope and opportunity for these kids that have been suffering from GM1 gangliosidosis for so many years. And for Accident, it marks a year where we will continue to advance and work on behalf of the entire GM1 community to move our clinical trial program forward with urgency, to generate data on safety and efficacy, and continue to move the ball forward to bring new therapies forward. My hopes for 2020 for GM1 are that we complete enrollment of the first cohort of patients, that we start adding infantile patients, and that by the end of the year we have some data from the first cohort of patients. So the sites at the moment we're working with Dr. Cindy Tift at the NIH and that's the site that we're using. Um, the study has started, as, uh, as many patients know, the study has started and we're continuing with enrollment of juvenile patients. And uh, we are going to expand the trial to include infantile patients in which we'd like to start in enrolling those infantile patients later this year. I think the most important thing that GM1 patients can do is to educate each other about the study, about what's going on, about gene therapy, about ways in which they can continue to support their own patient education organizations so that that way we will feel supported when we need to enroll patients, that people will be ready and understand what clinical trials are all about. You know, working on GM1 matters to me because for my entire career, I've been able to work on transformative therapies to bring new products forward for patients that haven't had those therapies in the past or any therapy. Getting to know the GM1 community, getting to know Christine, Getting to work alongside the Cure GM1 Foundation has given us a renewed sense of purpose for why we do what we do, which is to bring new therapies for patients. And for me personally, being a part of that journey is incredibly gratifying. A reason we come into uh, these roles working within the industry is not to just do research, is to actually get therapies over the finish line and get them to patients that need them. I think we're at the cutting edge of something really great and really, really exciting. And so for me as a physician, I'm hopeful because I start to see the fact that there might be a treatment available that will change the lives of families and patients for this terrible disease that no one has any treatment for at the moment.